umewaita nyinyi kama viongozi kwa sababu matatizo ya lamo hayako kwa wananchi matatizo yako kwa viongozi na nyinyi kama viongozi ndio mtakaoamua kama lamu itakuwa na usalama ama lamu itaendelea kuwa na matatizo ni nyinyi mlioketi hapa pamoja na sisi ndio tutaamua vile tumefanya katika taifa letu la Kenya usalama ni haki ya kila mkenya mali ya kila mkenya maisha ya kila mkenya watoto wa kila mkenya biashara zao ni jukumu letu kama serikali tukifanya kazi na viongozi tuhakikishe ya kwamba mali yao iko salama watoto wao wako salama biashara zao ziko salama Hakuna mtu mgeni hapa mimi pia nimekuwa katika uwanja huu kwa muda nimekuja lamu mara nyingi hata baada ya hii uchaguzi lamu ni kati ya counties nimekuja zaidi ya county zingine kumaanisha ya kwamba tunawadhamini na kwa hivyo hakuna mtu kiongozi ama mwananchi lamu wanaweza kusema ati serikali ya Kenya haiwajali ama haiwafikirii ama haiwadhamini we value Lamu County the same way we value every other county in Kenya and that is why continuously consistently we have engaged on Lamu issues Lamu development issues Lamu security issues mambo ya usalama ya Lamu sasa nyinyi mumetuchanganya kwa sababu wakati sisi tunaelekeza mipango mawazo yetu kupambana na magaidi pia hapa tuko na shida ya kisiasa uchochezi wa kisiasa ambayo inatuharibia usalama ya wananchi so sasa tumechanganya, eh, tumechanganya matatizo ya ugaidi na matatizo ya uchochezi wa kisiasa ambayo inapiganisha wananchi hapa wananchi wanapigwa na magaidi alafu wananchi tena pale katikati wanapiganishwa wananchi wenyewe good people that is unacceptable that is unacceptable and my two ministers for defense and internal security have been to lamu several times you know that they have been to lamu several times and they have not come to lamu at kwa sababu wamekuja kwa holiday they've always come to lamu to think to work with you on how we are going to manage the security situation in lamu we must all know that you as elected leaders those who voted for you and those who did not vote for you you are now their leaders tuelewane kabisa tumekualiana mimi nalaumiwa kwa sababu mimi nimeenda Kisumu sijui nimeenda Kakamega sijui nimeenda wapi 
wale walionichagua wananiambia wewe umeenda kufanya nini kwa wale but mimi ni rais wa Kenya wale walionipigia kura wale hawako nipigia kura hawana rais mwingine rais ni mimi Ninyi pia mlio hapa kama viongozi Ukisha chaguliwa wewe ni governor wewe ni senator women rep mbunge MCA Ukisha chaguliwa wewe ndio kiongozi ya wale waliokuchagua na pia wale hawakukuchagua wao ni raia wako you have a responsibility to each and every one of them muelewe ya kwamba hakuna mkenya mgeni hapa Kenya wa Kenya wote ni wananchi wa hapa we are all kenyans irrespective of where we were born irrespective of the communities we come from we are one nation let me say this again for the avoidance of doubt we are one nation every kenyan can live do business work in any part of kenya and we must appreciate them as kenyans because that is the position of the constitution that is the position of the law that each and every kenyan can live anywhere in the republic of kenya the sooner we understand that the sooner we will talk to each other respectfully and as one kenyan community yes that is the position and that is the position that i will make sure as the government of kenya we will protect every kenyan wherever they are wherever they live from whatever the communi- community they come from in whatever place in kenya to live work do business take their children to school in every part of kenya lakini mahali imefika ndio nikaamua tukutane ndio tukubaliane kwa sababu mahali imefika it cannot continue like this whatever it is going to take now going forward whatever is going to take we are going to take decisive firm action because it is not possible tuelewane kabisa na mimi nimesema tukubaliane ndio kusiwe na watu watakao sema ATO ilienda ikarudi ikakaa ikasim hapana we have to agree yeah we have to agree yeah, good people kwanza the first thing i want us to changamoto tuko nazo changamoto ni nyingi katika taifa letu la Kenya na tuko na changamoto nyingi kwa sababu ya hali ya uchumi duniani kote lakini hatuwezi kutumia nafasi hiyo kufanya mambo ambayo yataharibu mambo zaidi we must first agree on how we are going to work together to deal with the challenge of terrorism because terrorists are finding their way around lamo easy because communities have been incited against each other and terrorists are using that situation to create a narrative 
to pit communities against each other. So those of you who are dividing people, you are actually agents of terrorists. The moment you are inciting one community against another, you are giving fodder to terrorists to come and capitalize on your division to find a place to carry out their activities. This whole problem in Lamu, we are going to sort it out because it is our responsibility. We're going to work together as leaders so that we can sort out the problem of Lamu. To Saidiane tu, to Tulize Lamu. Na waomba tena viongozi, please. You know? Kuna sababu gani mungu wa mewajalia nyinyi ni viongozi wa Lamu wakati huu? Please. You know? Use the opportunity you have. Mungu wa mewapatia kulete amani. Najua kuna kuraza saa eh, Quran, lakini tawambia ya Biblia. Matayo tano mstari wa tisa inasema, heri wapatanishi. Kwa sababu ndi watakawitua wana wa mungu. The people who bring people together. Those ones. Heri wapatanishi. Mwende musome na ndatafuta ndatafuta eh, the equivalent kwa <laughs> kwa Quran ta eh atanitumia eh eh katika sura ya Nisa ile inasema la khaira fi kathirin min najwahum illa man amara bi sadaqatin au ma'rufin au islah baina aya bas inamaanisha kwamba na jambo jema katika ulimwengu huu ambao Mwenyezi Mungu ameibariki kama mtu ambaye ataamrisha kutoa sadaka au jambo jema maarufu na la tatu islah bina kuleta watu pamoja very good sasa kama hamjasikia hii yote tumesema hiyo ya Biblia na ya Quran jameni You know, we are forty. Those two.